There are a lot of people that have dreams. I like to say everyone who has ever had a shower has had a good idea. It's the people who dry off and do something about them that makes a difference. When we started making video games, we looked at the future and said, this is going to be as big as television or bigger because it's interactive. When the games were first there, it was kind of a fad, and they designed games that everybody could play. Video games have become so big, at some point people look back and go, well, what are the origins? Where did that come from? It was like, you know, we just need to figure out how to make it fun, and, and that was really the focus. I think that's how communities have really started up, is just being able to find people with similar interests. You know, when, you, when you're a kid, it's really only like if your next door neighbor play, but now we're all adults and have the ability to reach out and connect with someone else. We created our own culture and we took the things that we love and we built our own world. You can do whatever you want. You can fly, you can be a superhero, you can be a villain, you can be a goblin. Economically, they speak for themselves. Video games gross more than movies these days. So many things have to perfectly sync up for it to work. So I think a good video game, I think, is probably the hardest thing to make. I think the most exciting part about this industry is that we're constantly inventing. When we're making games, until it's up and running and you can feel it, you never know what you're going to have. It's really tricky to predict the future, but video games, I feel like, are inching towards the holodeck. Being another person in another place and not having to worry about the world around you. I think video games are going to be unimaginable, where you can't tell fantasy from reality and you can live the dream that you've always wanted to live.